Do you live? Yeah. How you doing, man? Pubs in London? Yeah. When are you heading over? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Let me know how it is. <laughs> so, um, you all, uh, you know, you talked about Sunday, you know, everybody being in the right mindset, coming back ready to work, so forth, how things have been going, and, uh, you know, with, with that, and getting, people getting ready for the Jets. Yeah, I think it's been good. Um, you know, I thought the start to this morning was good. We just finished up walkthrough. Um, you know, I thought the energy and... Uh, the attention to detail was good. We need to keep that up the remainder of the week and, uh, you know, get ourselves ready to go uh, play a complete game uh, this coming Sunday. And, um, you know, I think we're off to a good start. You had 374 yards, four touchdowns. Coach said you all are making progress uh, week to week. Are you feeling that progress? And then what can y'all do to continue that progress uh, in this game? Yeah, I, I do think we've made strides. I think we still have a long way to go and uh, can be a lot better than we've been up until this point. And I think what we have to continue to do is, is um, you know, continue to become more detailed, more consistent for four quarters, uh, and continue to play with really good energy. I think the effort and the energy has been good. I think, you know, if we can improve our detail and, um, you know, make sure we're on top of our assignments, I think uh, we can continue to get better. I think they're they're playing hard. Um, you know, you look at, at what they're doing. I think on the defensive side of the ball, they played pretty well. And um, you know, it's a front four and a linebacker crew that you know does a great job both versus the run and the pass. I think they've done really well on third downs. Um, they've been you know effective in terms of pressure and playing tight man coverage, and um, you know just being really good uh, in third down situations. So. Um, uh, I've been impressed, you know, watching them uh, the first couple of days. And with Jeff Obrook and Mark Manuel over there on that staff, the two defensive coordinators from here, what do, what do they know about you from practice that they're going to try to kill their players? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they know me well, uh, for sure. I know both of those guys really well and have, you know, a ton of respect for both of them. I really, you know, enjoyed being around both of them while they were here. Um, you know, Brick was obviously here longer, and, um, you know, I feel like I had a great relationship with him. So uh, I, I think I don't know what they're telling their guys about me, uh, but I know I'm telling, you know, our guys that they'll have their guys ready to play and play hard and play with great effort. And uh, that's shown up, you know, on the, on the tape. I, I was fortunate. I played on a on a team that ran the football really well, uh, and you know that 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 helps um, quite a bit. You know, when you're coming into the league, you can turn around, and hand the ball off to Mike Turner, and uh, and he was as effective as he was that year. So uh, there were ups and downs for sure um, in, in my rookie year, but I think having that running game, you know, certainly helped me out. What advice? Yeah, I think, you know, I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, limiting the, the noise uh, that you hear uh, and, you know, keeping, uh, keeping the circle tight on the voices that you're listening to. Um, I think that, you know, I was, I was very lucky and fortunate to have Mike Smith as a head coach who did a great job of kind of keeping it insular for me. Uh, Mike Malarkey and Bill Musgrave, you know, two coaches uh, as an offensive coordinator and quarterback coach who did a you know, great job of taking a lot of things off my plate. Um, and so I, I do think, you know, as much as you can, keeping it pretty simple and keeping it basic, um, you know, is good advice not only for a rookie, but, you know, for, for guys in their 12th, 13th, 14th year too. I think, um, you know, you go back to the basics over and over and over and try and do those things really well. I think, you know, in, in the running game, we've got to do a good job of, of getting our, our backs into the second level. Um, you know, and then I, I've always thought that you kind of pound away and you get your three and four yard runs. And then all of a sudden, if you continue to get to that second level, um, you know, the big ones hit. And, and so uh, 
all 11 of us have to do our part. You know, we've got to do a great job on the backside of runs, on the outside, blocking DBs and making sure we're getting hats on hats and uh, just giving the back one or two guys to run off of. And, um, you know, there's opportunities for it. I, I think we can really do it, and uh, we're going to continue to work towards it. But if we can continue to get our backs to the second level and finish on the outsides and uh, on the backsides of plays, I think that's going to help us out. Do you feel like you're close to it? Yeah. In terms of getting that, that pot I do. You know, I think at times uh, early in the season we've run the ball, you know, very effectively. I think it's, you know, it's 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 similar to our offense in general. I think we just have to, you know, be more consistent for four quarters. Yeah, I think, you know, just a different routine. Um, you know, practicing a little bit earlier, early in the week, getting your, you know, your body um, to try and, you know, get ready for, you know, acclimating to time change and um, making sure that, that you have a good plan for it, getting rest, you know, on the front end and making sure that, you know, when we're over there, we're taking care of ourselves. I think that's probably the biggest challenge. Um, and then, you know, not letting it, you know, kind of throw you off uh, your focus of, of what the task at hand is. And, uh, it's getting the job done. You know, it's it, it's it's unique week. It's fun. It kind of changes up the, you know, routine for us, and kind of gives you a little bit of energy that way. Uh, but you can't let it distract you from you know getting locked in and, and making sure that you're ready to go. Yeah, I can sleep. I got you know, I, I can sleep pretty much anywhere. So that's that's a good, that's a good uh, that's a good quality that I do have. So. Yeah, I'll get some rest on that flight over and uh, get moving on Friday. Kelly? I know it's probably limited because of the whole COVID situation that compared to years past, but is there any part of the London part of this that you look forward to taking part of? Uh, we're there such a short time, you know. I think it's – and we're staying, you know, pretty far outside the city. So, for me, uh, it'll be about getting locked in, you know, for our plan, getting my body right. Um, you know, but for other guys, you know, I do think it's a chance. First time over, we have some time off, a little bit of, of, of spare time uh, for them to get out, see the world a little bit. Um, no one's really been able to travel for the last, you know, two years. So it's, it's, uh, it's a good, you know, chance for some people to kind of recharge the batteries and see some things. So uh, if guys choose to do that and that fuels their fire, I think that's good. I haven't heard any of that, yeah. I haven't heard any of that yet. Jordan? Wanted to go back to what you were talking about, about facing this defensive front. Uh, Arthur was talking about like how good they are in their coordinated rush, and, and I was just curious kind of what, what you see in that regard from them. Yeah, I think, you know, whether they're running games, you know, which is – you know, guys lining up in certain spots and crossing and then kind of wrapping around and trying to pick you or, or do different things that way. I think they do a nice job with that. They match that up with then just penetrating and pinning their ears back and rushing. Uh, so I think it's a good mix of the two. Um, the thing to me is I think they play with great effort. And um, it, it, it continues to show up on third down. They do a really good job of um, – staying on the same page. If it's a penetrating call, they all penetrate. If it's a game call, they all kind of play in sync and um, they're well coached that way. I, I think it was Gene that we were talking to a couple of weeks ago about like coordinated rush attacks and he was kind of saying it's less about confusing the quarterback and more about confusing the offensive line. So in that regard, like how locked in do, you, do these guys in front of you need to be? Yeah, I think we need to do a great job, you know, up front of, of making sure that um, you know, when we're in our slide protections and we got, you know, certain things going that, you know, when you feel guys go away, have the expectation that somebody is going to be coming back to you and make sure that we're really good in our sets. And um, that's, that's certainly something we stress every week. But when you're going against a team that does it really well, you have to be on point. Travis, hey, uh, Matt, you mentioned about getting, getting over there and getting your body right. Like, how has that process changed from you like, early on to your career to now? I think early on you wing it, you know, you just, you just, you know it's, it's, e it's easier when you're young, you know, you just have energy. Uh, I think now I think it's, you know, making a point of emphasis earlier in the week to go to bed earlier, make sure you're getting up much earlier, trying to, you know, slowly get your, your body clock um, acclimated. And uh, it can be a little rough on the front end, but, you know, it, it pays dividends on the back end and, and then, you know, having gone overseas a couple of times personally, I think, you know, kind of having a feel for 
what works for me when I get there, staying up, moving around, and kind of pushing myself through that first day. I usually feel pretty good after that, and um, that's you know the the space I'll stay in, which I just didn't know that at 22, 23. Yeah, as far as, no, I'm just gonna say, as far as like, how are you gonna be able to? How do you feel you're gonna be able to help the younger guys from Jefferson know this? Yeah, I think you, you try and tell them don't learn or don't make some of the same mistakes, you know. Don't be the same idiot I was, you know, um, or, or some of the guys that, that I played with were. So uh, let's learn from others' mistakes and, and you know, trust uh, the, the, the program and the process that they've set up for us. I think our support staff has done a really good job of, of educating us on, on what we need to do to be at our best for this trip. Mike, I mean, you know, from growing up, you know, trying. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a place that you would either – want to go play in the world or, you know, ever thought about, man, it would be really cool to play a game there. I mean, there's, time, there's a lot of cool places that uh, would be interesting to go play. Um, I mean, I love, you know, visiting Europe. I've been to, you know, a bunch of different places in Europe, which are really cool. I've never been to Ireland, and it's crazy, you know. My entire lineage is basically all Irish, so it's the one place I have not been, so that would be pretty cool. Um, to, to go there, but, um, you know, there, there are a lot of cool places to go visit. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I guess, I, a short answer, I'd say, somewhere in Ireland. There you go. Dublin. <laughs> yeah, Dublin, there we go. BC played over there uh, a number of years ago. I think it was against Tech, mm -hmm. and uh, it was pretty cool to watch that. Yeah, it is. It's um, it is a cool connection, and um, you know something that uh, it's it's a unique experience. It really is. I think playing at Wembley, you know, um, 2014, and you know, just seeing the game day vibe. It's very different than it is over here, and so it's it's a unique experience and and fun uh, as a player. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can fly back with a better taste in our mouth than we did, you know, in 2014. Pretty much that, you know, it's, it's, you know, continue to work at it during the week, continue to practice at it. Uh, and then when we get our chances, you know, just go make them and, and let it rip. And we've done, you know, a nice job at times. I think we can just do a better job of doing it a little bit more consistently. Um, you know, but I'm a big, I'm a, a big believer in process and, and practicing and, and working towards it and, you know, drawing your confidence from that. And I think our guys also have that mindset. And I do think, you know, I do think there's going to be return on investment in that where, you know, we continue to work at it and practice and eventually, you know, it's going to, it's going to click and, and we're going to start making those plays and um, we just got to continue to, to work at it. What is it like playing in a place like London or in a place outside the United States that some, as a quarterback, of course, some fans, even some media just may not be there. What, is the, what would you say is the difference in playing there? Um, it's just the atmosphere feels different, you know, and, uh, it's kind of a constant buzz, you know, of noise, um, which is a little more like their football over there where it's just a little more consistent. Uh, whereas, you know, when you're here, it's kind of up and down and up and down. And so that part was different, at least for me in, in 2014. Um, and that, that's, I've only done it once. So that would be, that would be the biggest difference I would say. Yeah, I think Felipe's done a great job for us. Um, he's he's got a lot of talent, uh, and you know he's big and physical and can help our football team in a lot of ways. And you know I respect his willingness and, and effort to go do some things he might not have done in the past. And and um, 
you know, I think that's going to pay dividends for us. His versatility is going to pay dividends for us. But he's been great. I mean, he's worked, he's worked extremely hard um, from the moment he's been here. And uh, I've been impressed with that. Beats the alternative, you know. It, it it definitely beats the alternative. So, I mean, I I really think, you know, I've always tried to have that same mindset every week that it's you, you have to get the job done this week, and and you've got to uh, put yourself in that same level of preparation, you know, every week. And uh, I do think though there's there's momentum that you can build into certain weeks, you know, with a win, and and uh, that's certainly the case with the bye week is. You know, you can some build some momentum, get some rest, and try and carry that momentum when you come back fresh, you know, afterwards. So, um, like every week, it's, it's really important, uh, and, and we need to, you know, do what we can to get the job done. One follow-up question. I saw you in this commercial cold call. <laughs> you got a locker room full of tires or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> so... The, the, the idea with the Tide campaign is to switch to cold water washing, uh, which is good, you know, number one, for the environment. Uh, it reduces emissions, but also, number two, it saves you money, which is great. Um, but the idea was to get a group of cold callers, and so I got the nickname Matty Ice from when I was 14, and the nickname finally paid off. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had it for, you know, 20-plus years, and I finally got in on it, right? And so... Um, it was it was pretty cool this summer. I got to shoot a commercial with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ice T, and uh, it was one of the highlights of my summer. It was a really cool day getting to know those guys. I never thought though that um, that that would be a part of what I was doing, but it was it, it was really cool to partner up with them. No, I had, I had to stop and go back. I was like, "Rewind that." Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, bring a I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. I thought he did some nice things. He had a few nice runs for us. Um, I think there's a lot of room for him to improve and to build on, uh, but he, he's got some explosiveness, uh, a good feel for hitting the hole and getting vertical. Um, so I've been impressed with him. Uh, I, I really have, and you know, we'll see you know, what his role is for us moving forward, but I, I thought he did a pretty nice job you know, in his first opportunity for us. I think we're, you know, I think we're still coming together, you know, as a group, and and um, you know, we're, we're getting to that point. Um, at different points in my career, it's been one guy. At some points, it's been two. Uh, you mentioned Devonte; he did some great things for us, but we had a nice punch, one-two punch with Tevin uh, uh, as well during that time. Both those guys provide it, um, you know, different styles to a certain extent, but both provided energy for our football team. And I really think that's kind of the group that we have right now, guys that. Um, when their number's called, they can go in and provide energy for our team, whether it be CP, Mike, or Wayne. I think uh, all those guys can do a nice job for us. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.